What's up guys, John here, Titan Talk Tuesday. You know, it's a great day when you guys are seeing me on Tuesday because you know what? Tomorrow, we're halfway through the week. Hump day is here officially, so at that point, it's always a good Tuesday, especially at Titan Talk, getting to come in with you guys, talk about some of the great therapies that we have, some of these really, really up and coming topics. Love to share this information. So big shout out to everybody joining in. What's up, Concrete Tabula? What's going on? 4M, 4M Superman, Melendez, what's going on? Jake Jacobs, my man. This dude's killer with the camera. Oh, yeah. All right. V Via Almeida, what's going on, Titor? Melida Bodyguard, how you doing? Drooling, what's going on? Is this guy a doctor at Livewell? Okay, so who is at Livewell? Let's, let's see Let's see who this guy is. ATL, Atlanta, I believe. At Atlanta Livewell. So... I'm not the doctor, I'm the owner, uh, but I've worked with doctors side by side for over 10 years. That's right, side by side, still to this day with medical providers. Looked at thousands of blood tests, worked with athletes, regular average Joes, from people who have serious chronic disease to people that are healthy as a horse and just want to feel better, perform better, and look better. So I have a lot of experience, hands-on, as far as this goes. And I can explain a lot of these different therapies better than some doctors possibly can. So at that point, I've got some knowledge to, to push on you guys or to at least explain or help. Now, anything that's medical or you know how to use it or whatever it is, I can help to a certain degree. That's why we have the medical providers you do the consultation with because that's the person that's going to be prescribing the medication, going over your regimen. I'm just here to help people out, to share the education of some of these therapies and how they may be beneficial to some people. Plus, I can share some of the life experience or some of the issues that we've dealt with with patients and really help people because people really don't know where to get this information from. And when they type in a question to Google, they get a million and one different things back. Who's credible? Who's not credible? Who's going to give you the right information? It's really hard. Unless you have some time, it's hard to really go through and thumb through everything and read all the articles or information you're looking at, especially with the clinical research. So I hope that answers your question at Livewell. Uh, T.O. Prep, what's going on? Roar, my man. All right. Eric Core, what's going on? Lana, sexy 08, how you doing? Miramar Simpson, how you doing? Hulk Squad, my dude, I just talked to you. My dude, Vlad, what's going on? Mr. Kraft, Truck Company 43, Reborn Photography, CJW 4300. It's me, it, it's time, auto detailing. What's up, brother? How you doing? Rain and Anthony, how you doing? John True 9, my dude, what's going on? CJW, that's right. Jerry Ward's in the house. Yeah. Dude, big shout out to Jerry Ward. It's my dude, man. He's doing a lot of big things, always has. I see he's doing a lot of great things with helping competitors out there. That's just one aspect of what Jerry can help you out with. Guys, very knowledgeable. Been around the block more than once, guys. Uh, good friend. I consider him family, him and his wife, Aaron. Love your brother, and it's great to see you on here. David Conquest, or Conquest, how you doing? Brendan Joyce, Tucker and NYC. All right, Eric Cord, I need to jump on a program for work. I work in security in Los Angeles. Eric, we can definitely help you out. I got a lot of professional security guards, uh, you know, I, I, personal bodyguards, a lot of different people that work clubs, whatever industry as far as security that you're working for, um, we can definitely help you out. And you got to be on point, especially if you do know guys, if you work security or ladies, if you work security in the past, whatever, you know, whatever job it was security wise, you got to be on point. You got to have your head on a swivel, making sure everything is where it should be. There's no red flags, other places. Um, and you got to just be on point. Like if you're tired, that's not going to work. If you're foggy minded, that's not going to work. If you're not, if your body's just not running optimal, right? Energy wise and all this, you're not going to be at your best and you're not going to be able to secure things the best possible way you can. Okay. So it's, it's really important. John the Celebrity called me in the middle of the workout to make sure I got my Titan gear right. That's right. Jeremy knows, dude. So if you guys don't know, man, listen, me and Sharice are here uh, most of the time. And we're, we're, listen, we started this thing from nothing, right? We've done all the jobs up until now. So we know how to do everything. So at that point, if we don't have something to do, send out merchandise, listen, I'm doing it myself. That's right. See you on president over nine plus years here, and I don't care. I'm gonna answer the phone, I'm gonna talk to somebody on the phone, whether it's a lead or a patient that has a problem, if nobody's in here or my staff is busy, 
I'm gonna pack merchandise if I need to. And you know what, if I don't have some, I'm gonna call you personally like I did him. And I got a great package coming for you, dude. So I threw in some extra stuff for you. So I uh, hope you like it. Um, but yeah, that's my man, dude. He's putting in the work and he's healing faster and recovering faster, thank God. So big shout out to Jeremy Pringle out there. My man, Hulk Squad 40. Down to Fuller, what's going on? Rick Fuller, how you doing? Fit for life. CJW, yo, bro, what's going on? Dwayne Day, my dude, he's recovering too from a shoulder injury. A lot of injuries. So um, we're not going to talk about injuries per se on this episode, but Friday, Titan Lifestyle, Big Drew, we are going to talk about injuries, right? How to, you know, prevent injuries, hopefully. Uh, how to train with injuries that you have. And we're going to go over one really big popular injury that's just all over the fitness industry uh, as far as what I see right now. My man, Ryan Crowley. Really good friend, right? He, he was here for a long time. He's from the UK originally, but was over here in Tampa for at least a year and a half, two years. Um, and training at MI40 where we trained, me and Big Drew were really good, close with him. Uh, like I said, good peeps. And obviously, if you guys don't know, he hurt himself really bad in Dubai. He tore his tendon completely off the muscle. Um, so his pec was, was pretty destroyed. And it's a really, really bad injury. So we're going to talk about that, show the video if you guys haven't seen it. So tune in Friday for that. All right. Chris Razzle, Greek God, Mike Neal, my dude. Seeing you in your picture with your mom, man. Good picks, dude. Harvest Bull. All right. My dude. I worked them all. So. Eric, if you work all those different industries, you definitely got to be on point. Um, especially, I'm sure that you work out and train, right? You want to make sure your body's optimal, your mind is optimal, like you're, you're just there all together. So I definitely got some things for you. Um, just hit us up, let us know. And we service guys nationwide, okay? Um, at that point, if you guys need blood testing, you guys need hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, libido enhancers, which we're going to talk about as the therapy of the week for this week, especially our Superman and Wonder Woman's, okay? Um, rejuvenation detox for vital organs like liver and kidneys. You know, you want to make sure you protect those. Healing peptides. So BBC 157, TB 500, uh, peptides for weight loss, like all these different things we offer to you guys. Our big thing is, is to make sure that we're giving you guys the best therapies and the best medical provider support you could possibly get out there. That's right, so you guys can call, text every day. You guys are gonna get a response from medical staff. If we need to, get on the phone or a video conference with the medical provider again. Whatever it takes, we're there for you guys, all right? All right, so Ronnie Bastin, what's up? Kyle Wheeler, my man looking good out there. All right, so Dwayne Day says, I'm about to order another bottle of BBC 157. Hopefully that shoulder's coming around, man. Uh, what up, Big John? I just started IGF-1 with you guys about a month ago with my treatment. How do you recommend I cycle that? Because I heard you shouldn't take it continuously. All right, so good question. I'll answer this real quick. So IGF-1, LR3, we offer this as our therapy, okay? Uh, great therapy. So you really want to take IGF-1, LR3 only up to probably about 60 days. And then you want to at least come off for 30, all right? Because you can build up almost a resistance to it, um, a tolerance per se, and at that point, it's not going to work very good at all sensitivity to it you don't want to take it after 60 days so i'd ramp it up take it for about 30 to 60 days okay you should be able to run it pretty high uh as far as dosage wise um but you should get great results too along with that in the 30 or 60 days and then you come off for 30 days reset and you go back on and then you can just kill it again you can continuously do this but no you don't want to stay on it like for six eight months at a time it's just not good it's just not going to work so i, I wouldn't i wouldn't recommend it um, Big Mac, what's going on? Eric True. Eric, you need to look at the trifecta. I work private security as well, and this has kept me on the up and up and healthy. True statement. And John, thank you for pointing that out. So the trifecta has got a lot of great therapies in it, from our ECA Stack Plus, Hercules Potion, and our Titan Complete. These are three top-notch therapies. Um, you know, the other thing I would suggest is, if you don't know, make sure you, you know, look at your levels, per se, and make sure those are optimal and everything's dialed in there, too, as well. Um, and these things will just add extra, extra benefit in what you're trying to do from daily life, right, quality of life, and then performance-wise for your job and other things, like athletics, maybe, or, or, or working out, per se, right? Big Daddy, Corey D, what's going on? Yes, saw Brian's injury. Yeah, it was pretty bad, man. Uh, Roman, what's going on? Larry Wills is probably the only to have been able to spot Brian with that weight. Yeah. So, Ryan, you know, you know the way he put up was like 485 pounds now. He's out there with Larry Wheeler. And I'm going to go all this Friday. But he was out there with Larry Wheeler in Dubai. And Larry Wheeler, if you guys don't know, 
this guy, Larry Wheels, uh, he basically he can put up a ton of weight, man. This guy, you know, he's you know powerlifter type status. Um, and if you're not built for that, you're not doing that, listen, you could cause damage to your body. All right. The healing peptides are amazing. Healed up my pec in half the time. So BPC-157, TB-500, guys, I swear by that. I've used it. Like Jerry Ward's out there has used it. A ton of our patients have used it. Got awesome, awesome results. You know, obviously, there's some injuries you're not going to be able to repair with this, like broken bones and stuff like that. There's just some things you're not going to be able to help. But on the flip side of that, inflammation purposes this is going to definitely help with that so whether it's chronic or an acute injury you should definitely get some benefit from bpc 157 and tb 500 okay and make sure you guys are getting it from a good source all right cranian the, the elite i like that how you doing uh brian uh, Bra brahman kina what's going on the morgan Chappelle, angela how you doing out there cast my dude casanova so if you guys have not met my nurse practitioner, Cass Fernandez, that's who I'm talking to right now. Very knowledgeable on our therapies, obviously, he's prescribing them to patients or going over them, right? Um, but he's in the lifestyle too. He's active. He's young. He's going through the different things of life that all of us go through these different stages. As we get older, right, it's harder to recover. It's harder to get some definition or muscle. It's harder to lose weight. That's because we're getting older. So at that point, we want to make sure that your body is turned back the clock on the inside. We can do that with hormones, per se, and it can help in a number of different ways. So my big shout-out to him. What's going on? Jamal, what's going on? All right. Uh, Coda Legacy. Other than LR3 for long acting, are you guys going to get into DES for fast acting cell splicing? Good question. Um, we don't – so the pharmacies won't make the DES, per se. There was a straight IGF-1 we used to do before, but they stopped making it. So the LR3 is the only one currently out there right now as far as that goes. Um, good question, though. <clears throat> Eric Kodak, uh, Texas, whenever you can, man. Steph loves to lift. What's going on, girl? How you doing? Trend? Jamal? All right, I think you're seeing trend, maybe. Uh, let me know. Hey, John, how are you doing with running BPC when it comes to your shoulders? I'm doing awesome, guys. Um, BPC-157 <clears throat> has helped me so many times with my shoulders. So before, when we first got it, and this is years ago, I had a real bad shoulder injury, but the golf elbow and tennis elbow were debilitating. I mean, I couldn't do a, a, a pull down, uh, a bicep curl. It was hurting both ways, right? And you use your arms for a number of different exercises, and <clears throat> you're going to get this pain. And with BPC-157 right now, I've got a slap tear, stage 3. It's pretty serious. They're saying I need surgery and stuff like that. Been running high doses of BPC-157 and TB-500. Um, and obviously, it's a, it's, it, it, it's a lot better as far as that goes. It's not heal all the way. I still get some pain or if I sleep on it, I mean, it's aching in the morning. Uh, but I'm lifting, right? Um, even on dumbbells. So I went from dumbbells from like 30 to 40 pounds, like, you know, flat bench dumbbell press. You know, and it was still hurting really bad. And I've worked my way all the way up. So I'm up, back up to 90s on the dumbbell press. I'm really, really happy with that. And I've learned some different techniques, per se, of better lifting for me. So everybody's body's different and structural-wise, right? And the way that you push out, um, it could be different for some people than, than the other, right? Where muscle is and attachment and everything like that. So I found that, for me, incline has not worked well. It always caused me pain, always caused me damage. And, you know, somebody was telling me, you know, that basically, you know, the muscle right here is just, it's not going to be able to take that to, to the degree that I want to push. Um, so I worked around some different methods of me pushing, right, for pushing exercises. Um, and it's worked out well. So I'm not a, like, like an inclined dude where I'm going back like this, but straight off pushing, straight out, it works well for me. Right, and it's more like pushing up and instead of pushing straight out, I more push up. I don't know, it's just really weird. It's just the way naturally my arms go. You know, it could be another problem with me, and this is this is where everybody's different. If you've had different injuries through the years, like me, I've had a broken clavicle on my right. So, when you look at my shoulders, right, my shoulders actually, and you can see it, they go down, a, they go down. So, if I if I just sit straight up, right, this is my shoulders straight up you can see a slant. It's really weird. You can be like, oh, you're sitting that way. No, 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 I'm not sitting that way. It's literally slanted. So um, the degree of, of how 
like far my, my arms are wide wise is a little different too. Like because the clavicle is like this. When I broke the clavicle, it went over. Now you can either get a compound fracture, which means that it pops out of the skin, or it'll stay underneath and it's broke in one way, shape, or form. So they don't actually put them back like this. They let the bone on the clavicle mend where it's overlapping. And the reason is they said is when it mends overlapping, it's actually stronger that way than putting a plate in there um, and having it like that. So the degree of where my arms at, it's just, it's different. It's something I've had to adapt to in my lifting and stuff like that, especially on chest. And chest day is obviously for guys, uh, I think it's one of our favorites, right? Especially for me. It's like, you know, that lion, you have that, that big chest, right? Um, so that's like more the alpha side, I think. But, you know, chest is a big one. So you got to be able to work it. You got to make sure those muscles are firing in there. There's fiber. So it is what it is. All right, uh, Morgan Chappelle, what's going on? I'm awesome on vacation. Steph loves the list on vacation. Enjoy it. Rest up. Bye, Jennifers. What's going on? And Emily, what's going on? All right, so Trent. So we don't do Trent. So Trent's not for human use. Um, it's used for cattle. It was originally, that's what it was. It's a mass gainer, per se. So when they gave it to them, they gained a whole bunch of mass, right? And they wanted that. The bigger cattle, bigger the mass, the more they could chop off and make us some good steaks with. Um, so... I wouldn't really recommend Trend. Uh, you know, I, I know it's a big one out there for a lot of people that are underground or, or getting this from black market and stuff like that. Um, it's bad on the body. It's bad for it, cholesterol. As far as good cholesterol, HDL, it really knocks it down in the dirt. That's a big one. It can affect other things too, and it's not the best thing to take. Um, and, you know, when you take Trend, right, um, at that point, like, when you take it, you get possible Trend cough, which is not fun, guys. If you've had it, you know. It's like your lungs are on fire fire dude and you're like coughing up this fire and you can't stop and i'm telling you it's just not a good feeling uh other people really bad night sweats uh aggressive there's just a lot of negative side effects now listen there's people that gain a lot of mass on it strength and all that great that's awesome but i think there's other things out there that will work just as good per se and not give you as much negative side effects um that's that's where i'm at with it all right the real day mo what's going on at queen what's going on how you doing Chops of Phil, the real Johnson Squirrel. Add a great John for the BBC 157. Would it help people with pain and inflammation that have fibromyalgia? So, yes. So, with fibromyalgia, it causes inflammation in the body. It causes uh, pains. You just don't know, right? Now, fibromyalgia has been diagnosed quite a bit. And usually doctors, when, and I'm just being honest, when they go through something and people complain and they go through all these different testing and all this different stuff, and at the end of the rope, they can't find the problem, they usually diagnose it with fibromyalgia. Um, now, there's different things out there that will help too, like medication-wise, but BPC-157 will definitely help with inflammation. So I think, yes, I know some people that do take it from fibromyalgia. I think it will help. All right. Scott, what's going on, my man? All right, I had, yeah, Hulk Squad, I had severe hamstring of Dr. Magnus Tear a month ago. I started with BPC and TB500 for three weeks, and it feels amazing. Ask John how bad it was. Guys, the pictures were bad, right? So he even sent them in. He sent them in to the medical staff. They're like, oh, my God, like, it looks pretty bad, you know, at that point. So, you know, if you have these different injuries, you know, BPC-157 and TB500 can definitely be a lifesaver as far as when it comes to healing, like I said, acute. Or chronic injuries. All right. Razor Claw, what's going on? Real, real Eden Lake. How you doing? Nice to see you. Batman 5209-1365. Must be a lot of Batmans out there. M. No, <laughs> M no Siller, how you doing? A lot of muscle. Muscle Steph, what's going on? All right. Steph loves to fit. Are the Nectar and Hercules considered natural or am I now enhanced? So Steph has a good question. So Nectar of the Gods and Hercules Potion. She asked, is she natural or is she enhanced? Good question. So our vitamin amino acid injectables like Hercules Potion, Nectar of the Gods, it's a natural thing, okay? And let me explain why. The reason is because there's no hormones in it. That's one. The other thing is it's just composed of vitamins and amino acids. So these are things that your body needs, right? It produces on its own, it needs, or it does not produce and you need to get it from an outside source. So you are not enhanced per se. You might look enhanced when you take Hercules Potion for sure. But if anybody asked you for sure, like if you were going to a competition, 
you're not enhanced. You're natural by guidelines that they set forth. When you start diving into hormones and stuff like that, or even when we get to the subject, who's natural and who's enhanced? Now, for me, like anything that we take into our body needs that already produces, I believe that's natural. And when I come, when it comes to even testosterone, people are like, oh, that's unnatural, that's enhanced. Well, let's talk about that. What really means it to be enhanced? Because testosterone, per se, is naturally produced in the body by males and females. They just need it at different amounts, okay? So your body is naturally needing and producing testosterone. So introducing testosterone back when needed, I think that's, that's, that's the, the line right there. When needed, it should be natural. When you're talking about super physiological doses and people that do not need it, I think that's enhancement, right? They're enhancing what they already have. Like I said, I can get this argument all day with people that are natural, not natural about testosterone. And to me, it's natural as long as it's in the category of you needing it and replacing what you don't already have. If you already have a good level and you're taking in more, then that is enhancement. You're enhancing what you already have. You're going way above and beyond of what you have. So th that's kind of where I, I, I lay the ground work right there. I need to come see you guys. Raina said, what? You definitely need to come see us, Raina, for sure. If you do, I'll make sure we use your, give you a free pair of leggings and stuff like that just coming by. Uh, any question you have, throw them out, all right? And we can help in a number of different ways. All right, so what product can help me get up muscle mass? All right, so Raw 777 Gonzalez asks, what product can help me get up muscle mass? All right, so there's a couple different things, right? One, and I recommend this. When somebody says, I want to put on muscle mass, I always go with MK677. Um, now, make sure the diet is good. Make sure water intake is good. But MK677, Ibutamortin, um, it, it's going to help with hunger. It's going to help with strength gains. It's going to help with sleep, raising IGF-1 levels. This is all going to help with lean muscle mass, right? Because you need to start lifting to really gain lean muscle mass. You can't do a whole bunch of cardio and gain lean muscle mass. It just doesn't happen like that. You can shred off bad weight and lean up, right? And have nice quality lean muscle mass showing through, but you're gonna have to lift. You're gonna have to do some sort of weight training. And that's where this really comes into play because it's really gonna help strengthen that training. It's gonna help um, increase the hunger so you're getting those calories in to build the lean muscle tissue. I think that's a big one. People, you know, they, they forget about that. To grow, you need to eat. You got to feed yourself to eat to grow, right? Just like a plant. Like, you can't expect a plant just not to grow. It, it needs water. It needs sunshine. It might need nutrients that it gets from the ground or you're feeding it to grow. So, the same with your body. You got to give it the right things to grow properly. So, MK677 is a good one. The other ones I would mention is, is maybe IGF-1. Uh, CJC 1295 within Perelin, that's another good one. Uh, these different therapies. Now, Hercules Potion can help with recovery, muscle pumps, and more strenuous activity. So at that point, you can go and do more, more work, if that's per, per se. So it's really it really comes down to this, when we triage this question. Are you eating enough? Do you think you need to eat more? Um, you know, how's the recovery time? Like, all these things come into play. Are the other hormones optimized? That's another one. Here's your free and total, you know, what's your age? You know, we get into a lot of these different questions because, you, you know, if you say, listen, what, what do I need to put on muscle mass? I, I can say a couple different therapies. But to really break down who you are, you know, what are the specs of you per se, and that's age, uh, weight right now, intake of food, training frequency, um, all these different things, all these different variables come together and to really give you the answer. It's like a, an algebra equation, right? You have all these different variables in there and you plug in the numbers and then you come up with the answer. So that's what it is. So be happy to go over all these things. Real Ian Lake, how are you doing? Nice to see you. All right. So you're welcome, Steph. Any other questions, you be sure to uh, just shoot them out. I'll answer them for you. Hey, John, do you have semerolin peptide? If so... Do you have what you think, what do you think about it? All right, so Semerolin. So yes, Dwayne Day asked, do we have Semerolin? Do we carry Semerolin? Yes, that therapy, that peptide, we've had since the start. So Semerolin's been around longer than any of the previous peptides that I mentioned. As far as CJC1295 with Imperellin, uh, these peptides are the predecessors, right? They are the ones that came after Semerolin. Now, Semerolin is a GHRH peptide. It's a growth hormone leasing peptide. 
uh, and this was the first. And this was supposed to take the place of growth hormone. That's where they originally developed it. It was for dwarfism and stuff like that. Now, Semerlin's good, and it used to be really good because that was pretty much the only option for growth hormone leasing peptides. But if you're going to look at something like that, I would definitely look at the CJC-1295, and you get the Imperon in that therapy. So you're getting two different peptides. They're going to help stimulate the pituitary. And that's what Semerlin does, right? It naturally stimulates your own growth hormone to produce. The difference between CJC-1295 and Semerlin CJC-1295 has a longer half-life. It's going to stay in the body longer. It's going to produce a lot better result. And that's why we utilize that more with our patients. And we don't even bring up Semerlin anymore because it's really obsolete. When you really start talking about these new growth and releasing hormones or peptides, you know, these are the ones that work the best. They're the, the new bad boys on the block. And they're going to produce a better result. And if you're going to go with the two, I'm telling you, Semerlin by itself or... or CJC-1295 with Imperolin, I'm going to take bets on CJC with Imperolin every time. Every time, all right? So I hope that answers your question. Need tests also. Yes, so tests. We have tests. We do do hormone replacement therapy. Good night, bro. All right, Ronald, I don't know where you're at. It's uh, 630 here, but, you know, hey, listen, we have people from all over the world that tune in or download these things. So lots of love to everybody in the world out there. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Hey, how long can you run MK677? So I would run MK677 for 60 days, 90 days, tops. Give it a break, right? And then come back on if you want to. But in that 30, 60, 90 days, you're going to probably see some dramatic increases in a lot of different things. The only caveat that I tell you guys about this, and I warn you guys, so forewarn is foretold. If you take MK677, you better make sure you don't have any sweets in the house you don't want to eat. So if you got kids, you better put some, some some things into play where you're not grabbing this stuff. The other thing is, is water. You're going to have to drink water. Your intake of water, you need to get one of those. I swear, this has been the best thing for Sharice. She ordered these jugs online, right? And Sharice was not that big of a water drinker before. She would drink water, but she knows, and I told her, you need to drink a lot more. So these jugs, they have like these times, and it has like little things like, you just got started. You have a lot more to go. You know, all these different things. And it's almost like a contest every day. She's gone through more water than I've ever seen her in these days just because of that jug. And, like, it's like a mental thing. Like, it's an un unconscious thing that she needs to drink this water. So that's that's one thing that I would recommend. Carry your jug with you. Carry your bottle of water with you. I always carry a liter of water with me everywhere I go. You usually always see me. Pictures. I always got a water. I would put it down. Wherever I'm going into, I always have that water. Um, that's the big thing. Next thing is this, take it at nighttime. Take it before you go to bed. I know some people that want to take it during the day, fine. Other people, it might make lethargic. Other people, it might make them too hungry. That's why I tell them, right before you go to bed, when you're laying down in bed, have that bottle by your bed. When you feel like you're getting tired, or you think you got probably about five minutes before you crash out, you're just really tired, you want to go to sleep, grab that pill, swallow it, and go to bed. Don't do anything else. Make sure it's at the end of the night, Right before you go to bed, take it, and boom, you should be good. It should squash the hunger because usually that, that, that g and the hunger hormone is getting stimulated at night when you're sleeping, so you're not really thinking about it. You're not up to like, oh, let me eat everything. Um, plus, it's another benefit, right? IGF-1 levels are usually the highest at nighttime when we're sleeping and in the morning, right when you get up. So at nighttime is really, I think, the most beneficial. And the reason I say this is because most of the repair, the recharging, everything your body is usually, you know, getting over is usually at nighttime when you're sleeping. That's the time when your body's, you know, that's its charger, right? That's that's its recovery period. That's the best time. So I think that's the best time to get, take MK677 for patients. All right. Adding GW50156 and BPC157 to HGH. Anything else you think I'm missing for cutting while preserving muscle while coming back from an injury? All right, so GW, that's another peptide, all right? So you're running that, and you're running that for recovery purposes? BBC157, you know, and HGH, you know, I mean, listen, if you're running real HGH and stuff like that, that's obviously going to help recovery time. Um, BBC157, TB500, so if you want to throw TB500 in there, I think that's going to be a really, really good one as far as that goes. Now, cutting while preserving muscle, good one. So ECA Stack Plus, that's going to be a good one. 
AOD9604, that's going to be a good one. But for really fast results, I mean, honestly, I think ECA Stack Plus is going to be your best bet. It's going to give you energy. It's going to give you focus. It's going to help you cut. And then when you're in the gym or recovering, uh, you know, as far as rehabilitation, um, it's going to help you there. You're not going to need any pre-workouts or anything like that. It's not going to put you into a catabolic effect. Um, you shouldn't have any issues there. So I think ECA Stack Plus is probably going to be your best bet at adding into there. Um, cutting while preserving your muscle. All right. All right. Will this, this slide be posted later? Yes, it will be posted later. So if you guys miss something uh, or any issues like that, it's going to be posted later on the page. You can go back, check it out. It will be on our IGTV. And, yep. About 8 p.m. it should be up there. IGTV has all of these. So if you guys are looking for previous Titan Talks or tight lifestyles with Big Drew, they're pretty much in there. Um, so if you guys want to look in there. Now, for you girls out there, I was going to bring this up later on. But for you girls out there, right, I'm going to start or I'm going to have, we're going to have Rachel Daniels, IABB Pro and Titan Medical Exclusive Elite Athlete. And she's an Olympian, all right? She's going to do tight net time with Rachel Daniels, and I'm going to co-host it with her. So at that point, this is going to be, and we're going to do these every Wednesday. We're starting shooting tomorrow. So if you're a female and you have questions about anabolics or, you know, what's the best thing or diet or all these different things specifically for women, we're going to do a show just for you guys. I thought it was really, really key because you have me talking on Titan Talk on Tuesdays, me and Drew kind of chop it up. That's from a guy's perspective. And now listen, I've dealt with a lot of women, right? I know me and Drew, and Drew's coach women. He's trained girls, you know, on medical side. I've done it all with them as far as that goes. I've had a, a multiple Olympian girls on my team and been with um, and helped. So at that point, it's going to be a great, great thing, I think. Uh, I think a lot of women uh, are in the dark about things. I think there's husbands out there, fiancés or boyfriends. You know, they might be getting questions from their significant other and they want to give the right answer but might not know you know and they ask one of their friends or they go online and they, they look up this stuff and they might not know it's credible they might not know it's right so we're going to give you guys some straightforward answers you know and this is good because we're going to be on the medical side portion of it and then we're going to give the perspective from a bodybuilder side from her you know from an athlete and she's not just a bodybuilder she was a gymnast before that an mma mma fighter before that or after that i should say before uh bodybuilding so, you know, there's a lot of different perspectives out there and different things that she's went through, too, that I think are, is going to shine light on a lot of these different topics that we all want to know about, girls and guys. All right? All right. So, uh, all right. Yes. What's going on, Straight That X? My man, Christian, I got it. I got an interview for you set up. I'm going to set up with Rachel for sure, so let's get in touch. You're welcome, Real Eating Lake. No problem. But listen, look out for that tight net tight time, that tight net talk. That's going to be a good one for sure. Yes, Iron Heroin's going to be in the house. All right, will leggings be mandatory for the tight net talk? This guy. Yes. <laughs> so for for tight net, uh, tight net time, uh, definitely she's going to be wearing leggings. She'll have all different types of outfits. Rachel likes to change it up. Um, so she'll be in here. Like I said, it's going to be really, really cool. I think you guys are going to love, love it. All right? Okay, so... Hey, John, can I invest in a tight medical? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, yeah, Dwayne, we're going to be doing some things here, I think, in the future where we're going to expand out. A lot of people ask me, hey, John, why haven't you expanded and done more brick and mortars out there? So the reason is this. The reason is, is because me and my wife, Cherise, created a tight medical center from nothing. Zero. Nothing. Literally. $2,000. I had a medical doctor that would work with us. I had a place we could rent by week that was a medical facility. And we just worked by patient, one patient, and just kept rolling. Want to give them the best results. They were the only one. Work on them. Get them the results, right? Move on. Word them out because they had such great results. And people started noticing. No money for advertising. We have none of this great stuff that we have today. So at that point, like, it's really hard to let my baby go to somebody that might not care as much about it. And nobody's probably going to care as much about it as I do or she does. But it's not in it for the right reasons. Here's, here's the, the real reason. Most of the people that came at me about creating franchises, because we have our franchise arm open, joint ventures open, you know, we service nationwide anyway, so I'm like, eh. But the real reason was is because a lot of these people were money people. That's not a bad thing at all. But the whole thing was, hey, listen, how much money am I going to make and how fast? That is not the reason that we got into this. 
when me and Sharice got into Titan Medical Center or created Titan Medical Center, this was about helping people, like legitimately helping people because Sharice was in the medical field for 13 years previous. And at that point, I was helping out athletes, working with medical doctors and just seeing what was going on. And it was, it was just horrible. Like, I'm sure that you guys still face it today when you guys go into a general practitioner. Like, literally, you're having to wait all this time to go in to see somebody, even if it's via telemedicine. Um, you're not getting all your, your questions answered. They're not really focusing on preventative or anti-aging health. It's more like, hey, listen, if it's broke, we'll fix it. You know, if you have something else, we got to wait till next time. You know, and, and they're not really worried about what's great for the patient, what can really help the patient. And that's where me it came to play. So I don't want to see it ruined by somebody because, God forbid, somebody opens one of these tight medical centers and they're not doing things right and somebody gets hurt because we're not selling TVs, we're not selling toaster ovens, we're helping people's health and we're, we're dealing with people's lives, literally. So at that point, if something happens and something happens, hey, John and Cherise did it. Those guys are Titan Medical. They did it. So that's the big scary thing for me. You know? But it, it is open. Um, and it is going to be done. It's just got to be with the right people, and it's got to be in the right situations, guys. I, I don't care. I won't compromise. I'll, I'll stay where I'm at, and we keep building and getting bigger anyway. So at that point, uh, I would like to do that in the future, though. So, yes, there is going to be opportunities, and I will let you know, Dwayne, when that does happen. All right, guys. So let's get into our first topic, the therapy of the week. And this one's a good one. I think everybody likes this. All right, it's a libido enhancer therapy. Our Superman's and Wonder Woman therapies. So what are in our Superman or Wonder Woman therapies? So with this, we use sildenafil, which is the generic for Viagra, or we use uh, tadalafil, which is the generic for um, Cialis. And with these different ones, they work pretty much the same way on the vascular system, okay? They work a little bit differently as far as reaction time. Like when you take a sildenafil or Viagra, it's pretty much, listen, a breeze of the wind could come by, you could think about think about something, and you have an instant erection, okay? With Tadalafil, Cialis, it, you can take it daily, and it's not like that. It's more like you got to get in the moment, you're kissing, you're feeling, you're touching, and then, and then you have no problems getting up. So with this, it works great for women too. The reason is, when it's working on the vascular system, it's pushing blood down to the extremities for both guys and girls. So with guys, obviously, we're going to get a good erection, okay? For girls, it's pushing blood down to your lower extremities, so more sensitivity, which will cause, right, better feeling, hopefully, for you. And it can increase orgasm rate, too, as well. Now, you guys don't have to have erectile dysfunction, performance issues. You don't have to have those things to take these. And I wouldn't recommend taking these every time, per se, but... If you have something really special coming up, like Valentine's Day, anniversary, you guys are going on vacation, you know, listen, some people, the like guys, right, it's a cult thing called whiskey dick, um, and I hate to use that term, but that, that's one that's most commonly used with us guys out there, and, you know, locker room talk, right? Um, and what happens is, is people drink too much, and they can't get a good erection, okay, for guys. So this is something that will help. And you don't have to think about it. So let's say, I'm not saying you guys are out there getting drunk, but listen, let's say you're going out and having a good time with your girlfriend, your wife, or whatever it is. You're having some drinks. Or maybe it's a first date. You never know. Second date, you guys are out and having a couple cocktails, a couple glasses of wine. It might get away from you. It might, you know, drink three or four glasses. And hey, listen, you don't want to have to think about performing later on. Like, oh, man, am I going to be okay to get this up? Or am I going to be all right? And, man, this girl's new. I really want to impress her. So you can really set the precedence, like first impressions are lasting impressions, right? So, you know, at that point, you can utilize these libido enhancers, and we have a lot more, okay? But these are just focused on our Superman and Wonder Woman's. But we have other ones. So girls and guys together both like, like sexual pleasure, whether you're heterosexual, bisexual, asexual. It's just a common, it's a common thing with people. Like we were put on this earth, and there's a reason that everybody procreates out there and we were meant to procreate and we're using these these functions so at that point it gives great 
uh, feeling afterwards to orgasm. So I think a lot of people, like, just for that benefit, um, it increases serotonin and, and stuff like that in the brain, mood enhancing as far as that goes. So we know that better health usually with people that – usually have an orgasm a day, whether it's self or they're having with their partner, and usually it's better. And listen to this. The better sexual relationship usually you have with your partner, the better the relationship usually is. That's why in the beginning, when you're in that honeymoon phase and you guys are just like rabbits and having sex all the time, usually there's no problems. And at that point, there could be issues uh, as far as that goes, you know, with this. So... That's where you guys can utilize this tool and both you guys can utilize it together and have fun. That's what it's all about, right? So if you guys have any questions about the Superman or Wonder Woman's, please call or text us 727-389-3220. All right, so next topic on the list is the survey says that many Americans have gained weight during the pandemic. Now, I talked about this with Drew on Titan Lifestyle, um, but it just keeps coming up, coming up, coming up. So I thought I'd bring it up again. Now, the average American, right, was at a 30-pound gain of weight. That's a lot of weight. That is a lot of weight. It doesn't matter who you are. That's a lot of weight. Um, and the average American was gaining two pounds, you know, or so per month. Now, that's a lot less than 30 if you're like, oh, that's three. But over the pandemic, that's almost 24 pounds if you go year to year, March to March. So that's a lot of weight either way you look at it. And if that's body fat, and normally what they're talking about, it is. It hurts people in a lot of different ways. One, health-wise. We know the heavier you are and more obese you are, the more health problems you're probably going to have. Two is self-confidence. I don't think anybody likes being called fat. I don't think anybody wants to be fat. I don't think that at all. I think that there's a lot of uneducated people out there, and that might be from their parents you know, raising them and not teaching them how to properly eat or how to properly look at ingredient lists or, or things that they're eating food source wise. Um, so I think there's a lot of issues out there. Uh, I think those are the two main things though. People are uneducated uh, about what they're doing to their body and, and people just don't wanna be obese. Uh, it just is what it is. So at that point, listen, if you guys are obese or you've gained a lot of weight during the pandemic, there are options out there and we offer a lot of the different options. Um, if you don't want to start any therapies, the first thing you need to get corrected is your diet. Get your nutrition plan on point. Got to have that. Two, get your activity level up. That's the other thing. Three is sleep. Those are the three foundations. After that, you can expedite these results just by using some of the different type medical center therapies. Um, you guys can like literally lose probably the two or three or four pounds you gained a month, the exact same, and lose it in a quicker amount of time that you gained it, okay? And that's really what you guys wanna do, okay? So please, guys, take your health serious. Take your weight serious. And don't just look at a scale, the way that you fit in your clothes, the weight on the scale, all in comparison. Make sure you guys are doing right for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones, because those are the people that are gonna be hurting if something happens to you, all right? The next thing, the new lightweight Apple VR headset is coming, guys. So they're saying like 2022, this is going to come out, and it was awesome. So I've looked at a lot of these different VR headsets, um, especially with art, right? The Oculus and all these different ones that are coming out there. And usually the weight on them is the thing. So they're usually 300 grams, right? And that's kind of kind of heavy, right? But they're a lot, lot less in weight and a lot less bulkier than they were for sure, 100%. But these are only going to be 150 grams, which is half the weight. And some of the different things they're using in there, like the plastics instead of real glass was another one. There's a lot of great things. These things are going to be awesome. Now, they're talking about over $1,000 when they do come out. So it is quite expensive, especially when you do compare it to the Oculus. You know, that's a, that's a big thing. But Apple usually does it right. Their products are, are, are by far usually superior to anything else on the market. And that goes for phones. I remember when the iPod first came out, killed the Walkman, killed the CD player. They had MP3 players. I remember Sony had the Monopoly almost on MP3 players at the time. And then when the iPod came out, boom, they just changed the game. Revolutionary. iPad, revolutionary. iPhone, even more revolutionary. So at that point, I think these glasses are going to change the game 
Um, you know, they look really cool. I mean, I ain't going to lie. Apple really makes really good products, and those look really, really cool. I don't know how they stay on your face because it didn't really show. It's got to be like something like a strap or something, I would imagine. I think I see a strap right there. Probably a strap, uh, but it's not something that goes over your middle of your head. So if you look at some VR glasses, yeah. they usually they usually go over your head like this and strap in the back yeah. and Velcro in. Well, this doesn't look like that because I don't see this hair, girl's hair all down and stuff like that. So hopefully it's going to be really, really cool. And the things that you're going to be able to do on this thing, whew, almost limitless, man. It's going to be crazy. So get ready. It's coming. VR is a real thing. Augmented reality is a real thing. And it's coming. It's already here. They're just working on the tech. So it just becomes revolutionary and mass audiences are using it because it's really picking up steam. And it has been for a while. Everybody wanted to get into VR, uh, even in the last couple of years. It's just technology just jumped through the roof. So it's going to be awesome. All right. Um, next one. Miami Partners versus Police results in new, new curfew. So if you guys don't know what's going on here, and I'm sure everybody has seen on the news, Miami is under curfew. And it's only in the entertainment district of Miami Beach. Um, and their curfew starts at 8 p.m. This is till April 12th. And this is because spring breakers came down and have just run amok and, and, and created chaos down in Miami Beach. I mean, stupid stuff. Now, listen, I went through spring breaks, multiple. I think everybody has, right? We all party. We have a great time. We might drink a lot, whatever it is. And that's, it's to be expected, right? A little craziness is to be expected. But when you see people jumping on other people's cars, damaging property, you know, that's not that's not cool, right? That's not cool at all. That's not spring break. It's not the damage thing. When I went on spring break, it was to party, drink, and find girls. That's what it was all about. That's the, and the main thing was party, drink, and find girls. That's it, right? Screw sleep, you know, screw vandalizing or fighting. We really want to do this. Now, you're going to get some fights. I don't care where it is. It's just, it is what it is nowadays. You can get people. I seen people the other day. It was crazy. I took my son to Bush Gardens, right? And when we're in Bush Gardens, you know, they're complying by CDC guidelines. Everybody's wearing masks um, and stuff like that. Now, they have fast pass, like quick queue lines, right? And they have the regular person lines. And, you know, you're in these lines, okay? And we're in these lines. Most of the people are abiding, have people have masks on because you're pretty close. Well, I, I see some people, even if people had masks on, they started flipping out on the people behind them. You're supposed to be six feet away from me. And I, the dude's like, I got a mask on. I don't care if you got a mask on. You're supposed to be six feet away from me. I mean, I, I mean, loud, like causing a scene, like problematic stuff. And then I see other people, I'm still in another line. Right, and I'm in the quick queue, so I'm going by quick. Um, these people, like, you know, I see these seven kids, literally seven kids. None of them got masks on. The adult doesn't have a mask on, and I don't care if mask or not. It really doesn't matter. But these, these kids are starting to shame other people that have masks on. They're starting to shame them. Like, and literally, I, I, I literally told these kids, I'm like, you guys better shut the hell up. Like, who the hell are you guys to tell these kids or these people they shouldn't be wearing masks? Who's a damn adult? And the, the dad's like scurrying behind these kids. And I called his ass out too. I'm like, where's your dad and mom at? Why don't you have the adult come to the center and talk to me like a big boy? And he wouldn't hear them to say, I'm like, why don't you control your kids? And that's the problem. The, the, <laughs> the parents today are not giving proper discipline. I don't know if they're scared. Uh, you know, they don't want to. They're sensitive. Listen, we need to, to properly discipline our kids because these kids are growing up and they have no form of sense of discipline. They don't care, no consequences, people are getting off. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So at that point, I think it's a real problem. But Miami Beach, you know, I feel bad for the businesses down there. Those businesses have to close at 8 p.m. And not because of COVID, not because, you know, there's an emergency. It's because of emergency, it's because people are down there vandalizing shit and causing problems with the cops. You know, it's just not a good look, man. And everybody on TV is, is looking. It's just not good. It's just not good. And most of the people are from out of town. They're not even the locals there. They're tourists coming down here because, you know, let's, let's face it. Florida is one of the most open states in the United States. And a lot of places are still on lockdown or are finally coming out of restrictions or have been on lockdown for so long. 
So when you get people down here like cabin fever type, they're thinking, listen, it's lawlessness and it's anything goes. That's not it, man. And that's not the way to be. So, you know, I, I think the, the newer generation, the younger generation out there needs to take some notes from the old school or the older generations and, and treat people with respect, treat property with respect that isn't yours. I think that's a big thing. I think if, you know, if we really did clap down on people and really did discipline them or have consequences, we wouldn't have this issue. I think a lot of problems stem from, you know, what people see on TV, where people are ripping down statues or causing all kinds of chaos and issues. I think that was a big problem. And I think that sets a very bad example for what people seen and what they think they can do now. So it's just my take on it. Five minute warning. Five minute warning. Five minute warning. All right. So I told you guys the new tight net time. Rachel Daniels is coming. We're going to uh, shoot the first video tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a pre recorded video. We're not going live just yet. But we're going to pre-record it, and it's going to cover a number of different topics you guys are going to love. Guys and girls, it's great information. I think you guys are going to love it. So make sure you guys are looking out for that, okay? Upcoming events. Guys, if you're down in Miami, I just talked about it. The Titan team, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to be there. I wish it was. The Titan team is going to be down there. Big Drew, Rachel Daniels, my man Art's going to be down there. Uh, we have a couple of the Titanettes maybe down there. Uh, or the Titan promo team, I should say, down there representing, give a ton of giveaway at the Miami Advice Seminar. All right, and you guys can look at our page for the the flyer as far as where it's at. It's at Empire Gym down there um, in Miami. So check it out. A lot of pros are going to that thing. A lot of judges are going to that thing. So if you guys are into bodybuilding, um, that's a good way to connect. Plus you guys can come out, get some pictures, get some free Titan swag and stuff like that. And just show some love and learn some good things. The next thing is the Key West Car Show. That's the day afterwards. That's this Sunday coming up at Forza Tune in Clearwater. Um, we're going to have the Titan Lambo out there. The Titan Vet C8 is going to be out there. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Hopefully great weather. I'm thinking it is. At that point, we're going to be out there giving a lot of giveaways too as well. Uh, after that, April 10th, NBC Mel Chancey Champion Muscle Classic here in Tampa. Five minutes down the road from the Titan Medical Headquarters here in Tampa, Florida. It's going to be a great event. Um, going to give away a lot of free Titan gear there as well. After that, Tampa Bay Swim Week at Water, the fashion show, May 15th. Going to be great. Got some different Titan Medical swim suits that are going to be um, showing up there. So you guys get ready for that. I got our Titan like Baywatch one that's going to be there. Uh, a couple different varieties of different outfits i think girls are going to love especially uh after that or the same day new york pro tampa that's a huge huge show rachel daniels ibb pro by olympian is going to be defending her title so after she won her pro card she did that literally two weeks later and won the whole show as far as that goes huge show for her to win she can defend that title i cannot wait guys after that, June 19th, Deke Warner will be down in Orlando, Mid-Florida Classic, third year with Deke, doing these shows with him, man. Great guy all the way around. Great shows. We love Orlando, so can't wait to get back there. July 31st, Tampa Bay Jeep Fest. So that'll be another great event. We did that one last year, right when COVID started like unlocking a little, or these COVID restrictions started finally unlocking a little bit here in Florida, and we really got out of it really, really soon. So... It was awesome. Um, it should be a great show, too. So if you got a Jeep, come out. We'll have the, the Titan cars there, too, as well, representing. All right, weekly poll. Do you enjoy using bedroom-enhancing products? So libido enhancers, males and females, do you guys enjoy using them? And you guys should because it should bring more pleasure to you, more pleasure to your partner. So at that point, you guys should really, really like bedroom-enhancing therapies, like our Supermans, Wonder Womans, like I talked about, our Iron Man therapies for you guys out there, and our Cupid's candy for both males and females. These are great therapies. And like I said, you don't have to have libido problems or ED issues or erectile dysfunction or any of these problems. You could just use it as like, hey, listen, I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to really show this girl what I got or a guy or whatever it is. I'm going to really show them. Or I just want more pleasure. I want more pleasure. And that's what some of these different therapies like Cupid's candy can do. Because you got oxytocin, it's gonna be great for bonding with your, as far as mental bonding with your partner. Um, you got PT 141 in there, which is gonna work on the nervous system for libido enhancement 
and you got the Tadalfa in there for vascular libido enhancement too. So you're hitting the trifecta there as well. So guys, just some of the different libido enhancers we can help you guys out with. Guys, keep it locked. I love you guys tuning in to Titan Talk Tuesday. Thank you so much for all the support. I'll see you guys next Tuesday, 6 p.m. with me, Titan Talk Tuesday. And don't forget, Friday, 2 p.m., Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. And coming soon, Titan Net Time with Rachel Daniels. And on the Wednesdays, we're going to release that. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week with Titan Talk Tuesday. I'm out.